Today's adventure brings us to San Francisco, right along the water. Here at Pier 39 are a multitude of sea lions just hanging out. After I depart this area, I'm gonna make my way down the shoreline over to that section where there is a particular attraction that I would like to delve deep into. Designated the weirdest place on the wharf. Now the tusks are not made out of tires, but the rest of this mammoth is. One of the biggest tragedies in this area happened in 1989 during the World Series, same time frame, a very bad earthquake. In this car, for four days, a gentleman stayed inside before he was able to be rescued. One of the most iconic structures in this area is the Golden Gate Bridge. Here is a reproduction made completely out of toothpicks. This represents the desk that Robert Ripley did all his work at. He traveled a lot, but he did occasionally sit at a desk. Whoa, a prehistoric cave bear looming down upon me. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Down in this box is a prehistoric mammoth tooth. Dun, 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 dun. These attractions are always being updated and renovated. Albert Smith here is putting up some wallpaper. Hard at work. He was hired by the man himself and featured in the very first book back in 1929. I never get tired of looking at Fiji mermen or, or Fiji mer folk of any type. Just never get tired of it. Is that is that strange? Keeping up with the local theming, this is a cable car also made completely out of matchsticks. This usher's name is J.T. Sailors. He could swallow his nose with his bottom lip. Can you do that? Whoa, that bust is talking. His eyes are moving. His mouth is is he's speaking. I'm paying a lot of attention here to Goliath, though, the world's largest sea lion. you, Bobby? Like a little nip from old Uncle Crocodile? No, what? What? A nip from Uncle Crocodile? General Daniel E. Sickles lost his leg to a cannonball in the Civil War. And it's located right there, at least a reproduction of the bone from his leg. His real leg, that bone, is in Washington, D.C. in another museum. Victim of a shark attack. See the wounds there on the side of his stomach. And this is a Bible completely handwritten. That must have took a heck of a long time to scribble down each and every verse from every chapter of the Bible. What's in the box? See what's see what's inside the box. Anything in it? That's not good. Close it. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let, let's just let him. Let's just let. The, should we help him? Uh, I don't. I don't know. What should we do? Imagine having a tour guide with a candle sticking out of his noggin. That's what happened in China. This gentleman was showing around American dignitaries and they discovered that he had kind of put a hole in his head and stuck a lit candle on top just so they could see a little bit better. Born with a rare medical condition, Ching Fu here lived his life with a blue face. Pretty interesting. Some mummified objects here. We have a mummified head and don't forget about the mummified hands off to the side. The question is, how many parties do you have to have to create a wine cork donkey of this magnitude? Oh, don't we're talking over here. Zoltar, we're having a conversation. He's always interrupting us. He's always us. chiming in. Every time I try to say something, Zoltar cuts in with his old gypsy speech. Dang it. 
these fantasy coffins are always fascinating. You can get buried in something you're very passionate about, like a Coca-Cola bottle. But imagine if after you passed away, your family put you in a new Coke can, that flavor that didn't last very long, that would be awkward. The head of Jeremy Bentham was placed below his body and his real head was replaced with this wax one when he appeared before the board of directors at the Yes, you. Oh, come, come on. on. And let Zoltar be sharing with you your fortune. Leave me alone. Photographed by Robert himself, known as the human unicorn, is leading the way into this train car. Given that nickname, because you can see the back of his head, it looks like a unicorn of sorts. A 13 inch horn growing out of the back of his head. Moving out of one room and into another, the theming completely changes flawlessly. I'm now meandering through a moving train car. Even the lights up here are shaking to and fro to simulate the movement. And out the window, you can see the landscape changing as it just kind of moves by at a very quick pace. Oh, this thing's rocking and rolling. Whoa, we're swaying. We're swaying back and to and fro. This is okay. That's just never mind. That's just that's just me moving moving the camera. It is pretty neat how the hammock is swaying also, and that box on the far end, as well as this hammock full of artifacts, a bull steer skull of some sort. There's all kind of items throughout this room. A fur covered trout, in this case, a two headed weasel right up there. didn't see over here. Bobby Blackburn, known as the Crocodile Tooth Man, just taking a load off, just chilling on this bench. Given that name because his dentures are made completely out of real crocodile teeth. Look how incredibly sharp they are. This area looks very inviting. It's like there's a lightning storm or flickering lights down this hallway. I bet while alive this falcon had no idea it would one day be mummified. Probably hadn't had any clue. A vampire killing kit is probably a wise thing to own. I don't personally own one, but it would be smart if I invested in, in a kit. These skulls once belonged to cannibals. No, they didn't have them in their collection. They were their own hu they were their own human skulls. These were their skulls. Oh nice against this space backdrop is a pinball machine themed Ripley style. You certainly do not see these each and every day. There he is, Wadlow, standing next to that huge ruler. Janice Joplin made out of chicken wire, bent and contorted to make her face and hair. Now I've heard of the Coco Mantis, but never the Metal Mantis. Titled Everyone Gets Screwed, because this is made out of screws. Get it? Oh, now check your shadow. Oh, oh yeah. Save your shadow. That worked out good. That looks pretty good. Why is your arm insanely long? Pretty cool. Knock another Ripley's Believe It or Not off my list.
that's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop. Up to date on future endeavors, adventures I will be going on, as well as uploads here on this channel. You can take it a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. <laughs>